What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we are starting out by talking to Gruhorn Wormsbane and we'll see where this takes us because I don't quite remember. You're not from Calfian, are you? In that case, I hope you like Serendia or Serendia. So you're the one who took out those rebels. That was resolved much quicker than I expected. I've heard the rebel leader was well known for his exceptional skills in combat, but it seems he was no match for you. The Grand Chamberlain has been quite busy dealing with other matters, but I'm certain he'll be happy to hear that the situation at the Eastern Gateway has been dealt with. I'll go and report this to Grand Chamberlain. On second thought, I think it would be better if you make the report personally. The Grand Chamberlain Duradine has shown quite some interest in you since hearing about your achievements. Feels like we finally found someone worthwhile. Ha 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 ha. Um, yeah, go ahead and tell me about everything here, buddy. Thank you. Okay, so we need to report to good old Jordine Dukas, who is just up here. My character model is almost too big to fit through. Um, we got this helmet. Because I'm not upgrading the Ajirian stuff, I feel like I should probably wear this. As it's a massive upgrade over the Ajirian stuff. I know I lose the bonus, and that's not super great. But with limited resources, I think it's probably for the best. Giving my best endeavors to represent Heidel. Uh, so you have seen the hardships of the farmers. Did the farmers ask you to tell me this, or are these your own thoughts? It does not matter either way. I fully understand your plight, but if Heidel falls, they won't even be able to enjoy life as it is. I'm fighting for all Heidelians and the rights they deserve. And if that dream comes true, their suffering will not have been in vain. Small sacrifices are inevitable when you're trying to rewrite history. I found I fought hard to be where I am today, hoping for a day when I can instill my own version of justice unto all. The struggles I've had to face are unimaginable to people like you. Do you believe that your fight is for Heidel? No, that's not important. You will probably side with the highest bidder. Consider my request carefully before agreeing. If you side with me, you fight for Heidel. I wish to believe that you'll continue to fight for Heidel. I know that this will be of some benefit to you as well. For your next assignment, I'd like you to resolve a situation we have at the extraction mill. I've already made plans to quietly deal with the situation, but an informant from Calfian is making things rather, rather difficult. His name is Dawson. He's quite naive, so he shouldn't be too hard to deal with. I've already made plans and sent word, ahead, word of this ahead of you. Take this document as well. Once you tell Romano Prospero at the Northwestern Gateway that I sent you, he'll lead you to where Dawson is. Okay, so we need to find Romano Prospero at the Northwestern Gateway. So that's actually a pretty far way away. So I will see you guys in a hot second over there. Alright guys, we are back. Had a little issue with my PC, but we are all good. We are back. Romano Prospero. What did the Grand Chamberlain send you? You look like a rookie. Okay. I heard they were sending someone. I suppose that's you. Good. Since we don't have a lot of time, I'll cut to the chase. The Grand Chamberlain gave us an order to follow without raising attention um, from others. It's become a bit of a headache, and it's an issue we can't deal with ourselves. However, I think it's the perfect job for a mercenary like you. Dawson is running the extraction mill. Did you know that he's from Calfian? They're the ones who built this extraction mill to mine the Black Crystals of Serendia. Yet yeah, look. It is that confounded extraction that has led to our contaminated waters. We suffer one injustice after another, without so much as a piddling metal for what we do here. Since you mentioned that you were sent by the Grand Chamberlain, I'd advise you keep the part about gunpowder a secret from Dawson. Okay, so let's get this information from him. And we need to deliver Jordine's message to Dawson. So Dawson is just right over here. We got some new items, so I'm going to equip those once we get over here. Actually, we'll talk to Dawson. I'll equip him when we go out for combat. I can't take it anymore. The stench here is foul. The whole of Serendia is pr practically one big swamp now. Is it really fit for human life here? I've devoted myself to the extraction mill, but these old bastards pretty much abandoned me here. But just wait and see. I'll get them when I get back to Calfian. What's going on? Did the Grand Chamberlain send someone again? I've already told him many times we must suspend black crystal trading at this time. We don't have enough black crystals to send to Calfian. 
extraction mill. This is a proper facility to obtain fine black crystals. Black crystals are a fine are a prime resource. But thanks to the war, it's all daggers and death stares that people give us. But we've no other recourse for obtaining the crystals. The darker and bigger, the better. And if you're lucky, you might get your hands on some that emit the, the mysterious black energy that an alchemist would kill for. The uh, okay, we don't need that. So now we can go back to our friend over here. What the heck did I just get caught on there? I like how people have these fishing gear on, because it's probably the only outfit in the game right now. Oh, so the plan is to propose a secret deal with Dawson to draw their attention and make them nervous. Grand Chamberlain Doradeen. He is so read it, he is so resourceful. Grand Chamberlain rarely places his trust in people. I have high hopes for you. He's going to declare war. Is the Chamberlain serious? Calfian has already filled many key positions of authority with its own people. Calfian's powerful... Kelfian's powerful will definitely figure out what's going on. Ah, oh, what a mess. I thought this act of sabotage was just supposed to dent Kelfian's pride, not trigger all out conflict. Talk to Deal and Noah. He's the one who hit the gunpowder. Okay, this is a this is this is a lot more dialogue than I was expecting. I mean, this is this is a story here. We we got some story elements going on here, but uh it's a lot of dialogue. Oh, uh, yeah, it's this part. Okay. Uh, nothing around here works properly. This is why we're no match for Calfion. Every time something happens, we have to take care of it. Gunpowder? What on earth are you talking about? Shh, keep the bloody noise down. Are you trying to get me hanged? Commander Romano told me to take care of it, so I took care of it. The gunpowder <coughs> is hidden in a barrel among these explosives. There's nothing we can do about uh, I don't want to do that quest. Okay. Oh my gosh, this quest is so terrible. Dawson has been snooping around a lot lately. He mainly whines and asks me to catch bugs with these bombs. I wonder if he found out something about the gunpowder. My heart pounds away like no other every time he comes by. To be honest, does killing some creatures for him give me a promotion or a raise? It's during these or during times like these that I wonder whether I should become an adventurer. I should never listen to... I should have... I, oh my gosh. I should never have listened to my dad when he told me to join the army. It's hard for me to deal with the triangle head lizards and grass bat crabs as well. I envy you since you at least have something to gain from all of this. Okay, so we need to go kill some crabs for our friend here. Uh, we got a new gear. We got some gloves, which will increase our defense to 45. And this best year ornamental knot will also increase um, a fair amount as well. 32 attack and 48 defense, so that is nice. So we get some extra new gear uh to help us along our way here so okay, hello weapon can i pick up the crab i guess i can't pick up the crab can i pick up the smaller crab okay the smaller the smaller crab just straight dies spin the wind through this crab there we go no, let me kill this grass crab. This mission just... These, this killing crab mission is just something. Are you gonna die? Hello, crab? Thank you. Okay, there are... There's our hermits down. And here's our grass bat crab here. They take so much damage. What is happening? You know what? You're getting you're getting this attack. Oh my gosh, they didn't even kill him. Are you invincible? Oh my gosh, that dude freaking ate. Alright, let's go back. Turn the quest in. It's that's such a weird quest. It's such a random kill quest. Claim your daily rewards, profile challenge rewards. We'll go to that real quick. Because I haven't been doing it, but. Oh, look, there's no daily rewards. I don't know. Can we actually claim these? I don't think we can actually claim these. There's no, like, option to claim them right now. So maybe tomorrow. Oh, there we go. Here's the ones that I can claim. Nice. Okay, hold on. Uh, that's the fisherman thing. Embroidered fisher's clothes. 
Oh, nice. I just get all of this. Oh, we get a pet! Night. Oh, wait, is that a pet? Yeah, that's a pet. We get a pet. Oh my gosh. How did I miss this? How did I miss the pet? Okay. Well, we want to put this on because it is clearly better. So we're going to slap that on. Oh. Oh, it's not better because it takes over everything. So never, never mind. Oh, crap. I put it on again by accident. No, no, no. Do that and then put that on. Okay. Travel wear box. Okay, so this, we're going to pop that. Get that extra inventory slate. Or slots. Slates. Is that all the important crap that you get from here? You get a fishing boat, which is nice. There's the clothes set. We want... We want... I'm just going to reg... Actually... We're going to name him Dodo. Oops. Dodo. Do... I'm going to space it. Dodo. Well... Hold on, I can't even see what I named it. Why is there a... Okay, I s let me name him Dodo. Alright, I'm registering him. There's my little friend, Dodo. Where Where is he? I gotta take him out, I bet. Alright, we got ourselves a pen. He's not here. What the... Let me... Why can't I take out Dodo? Hello? Continue? Yes. You're gonna let me... Oh, I can't have a space? Okay. Okay, game. I was like, what is happening? But I just can't have a space. There we go. Take him out. There he goes. Look at little buddy. Look at my little... Look at my little buddy there. Alright. We got a pet. That's like the most important thing out of that that we got. And we got Balanos uh, meal. That's also really nice. Okay, wow. So you've managed to clear out the area. Good soldiers are hard to come by because everyone with an inkling of talent decides to go on an adventure instead. Wonder if I'm one of them. Uh, why on earth do those litter keep coming here? Is it because of the bad smell? Dawson is at the edge of his nerves, but they keep coming. No matter how much we chase them away... Now even my hair is on edge of my seat because of the lizards. Hey, could you walk around the extraction mill and kill the lizards? I see... Where'd I... I see that trail? Did I... I thought I got lost reading, and then I, I don't think I actually did. Okay. Something smells here. Do we really come all the way here just to squish some crabs? Why don't we speak to Dawson and see if there's anything more interesting to do nearby? Something smells fresh around here. Look at all of these gifts. Hello. Complete that. Complete that. Grab that. And we'll pull this back out and complete it. Complete that. Oh, we gotta talk to Dawson. Okay. Head back over to Dawson. Try not to get stuck on the pier. I'm going to pop these, get that extra inventory slots. Okay, so you notice the stench too. I can't stand that smell coming from those Nagas. I don't like how things went down from the very beginning. For starters, I had to endure unsettling rumors concerning why I was chosen to run the extraction mill. Can you imagine what it's like having to work in a place constantly surrounded by this foul stench? To make matters worse, I also realized we were situated right next to a Naga stronghold. Lately, the Nagas have been appearing more frequently in areas surrounding the extraction mill. Do you think that they're here for the Black Crystals? We can't concentrate on our work because of those Nagas. Those Serendian soldiers don't seem to be worth their salt either. I meant to hear back from them after they went out to face the Nagas. And this is where I come into play. Time to go kill Nagas. And this is the time that I'm going to pop my uh, experience buff. Because fighting Nagas... Yeah. Fighting Nagas is the is the peak of experience at this point in the game. Only I'm going to waste a minute because I have to run to the Nagas. I actually thought... I thought we were closer. It's my bad. It's my bad. But we're here. 
one of the best farms in the game right here at the Nagas. I don't know how well this is going to go since I don't have I don't have a whole lot of damage, but it looks to be going perfectly fine. And it's so good. Look at all that. Look, look at the experience just straight rolling. We're getting like a percent of kill, it feels like. Maybe not a full percent of kill, but, but it's close. It's like three-fourths of a percent per kill. I know I have some bonus experience. But it's only 10% bonus. It's not like a massive insane amount. Slam my feet down. Such a, it's just such a good spot. Wow, that lasted really long. I don't feel like I did any damage to that guy. Okay, let's have some fun here with this attack as I miss everything. That attack is just too much fun. There's like two, there's some really fun attacks that, that Zerker has that are kind of terrible. Objectively, they're not very good. But they're just fun to do. And like, look at that. We're already, we already got like 31% to the next level. I know where these guys are, but actually, I think I have to kill more anyway. So let's go up here, actually. As I messed that up. Okay, I will kill all of you guys. It's like they come out of a freaking Teamster clown car. There's so many of them. And alright, up the ladder we go. I'll kill you when I come back down. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Just gotta talk to the soldiers up here. Okay, thank you for coming to our rescue and getting rid of those Nagas. I intend to fall back once the wounded soldiers recover. Come to think of it, I haven't seen you around the area before. Are you the mercenary everyone has been talking about? That's a me. The Nagas are acting suspiciously. It's almost like they have no interest in us whatsoever. What's distracting them? They're acting weirder than usual. I wonder what's gotten into them. Okay, so now we have to go back down here. Kill more Nagas anyway. Surprised there's no one here. There's literally just me. By myself at the Nagas. Oh, I see a guy on my map. He's in the center part. But we're definitely going to hit 25 off of these kills here, I would think. So that's really nice. We haven't been, like, massively leveling up over the past little bit, so... I'm happy to get some levels in here. Sweet. So the pet has gotten to work picking up stuff. I'm not gonna mess too heavily since I, since my character is not overly optimized. I don't really care about. Um, I don't care about the rotation being perfect because I, I'm, I'm going to take long enough to kill him. I don't have to be perfectly optimized. There is like an optimized rotation here to rotate around this area, but it's kind of whatever. It's not that big of a deal, especially right now. Holy, we just whiffed that tech. That's okay. Slam you down. Do that WWE style kick. Such a weird attack. Okay, so let's go back over this way. Mob density is just so good here with the Nagas. I wish the Desert Nagas in the end game had this great a density, because this density is just insane. There's so many of them. Go with my favorite little attack there. I can't tell if I like that more or the like flying attack 
That one's kind of, that one's really fun too. It's kind of a toss up. I don't have a massive preference, but. Okay, now I gotta find somewhere safe so I can talk to the black spirit. Let's just go to the core here. Okay. Not being followed by any Nagas. Nice. Have you noticed they keep gazing at the island in the middle of the swamp? Oh, okay. It's like it's like I knew. Do you see that? He he he. The Nagas are protecting the artifact to keep it for themselves. That means they must have been waiting for us. Waiting for us for some time now. Okay. So, go to the center. Reach out and touch that artifact. A guy called Aiden saved me. Those black Nagas went berserk as soon as they saw the artifact. All right. Pull yourself together. Ah, oh, damn it. Words are no use here. You're lost for our false power. We'll put everyone in danger. You... Could you pick up that necklace there for me? cannot be saved with that artifact. The power is that of destruction, not of salvation. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this quest into Eden. Ah, you again. You've grown surprisingly powerful since our last encounter. I've never seen such progress before. Nevertheless, I see that you're still under the influence of that black energy. I hope you do not succumb to its power. Hee hee hee, I feel much better now. You're happy too, aren't you? Seems like Romano is looking for you again. How do I know? Let's just say I have my ways. Come on, let's hurry. I have a feeling it might be about something interesting. Hee hee hee. Spirit gift. I'm gonna summon him and complete that. Uh, it gives us a black stone, so I could upgrade. Ooh, okay, we got. Uh... Let's see, ac oh no, it gives us eight accuracy. We definitely want that earring set. And I think we're good. I'm gonna hold on to the black stone armor. I'll decide what I want to do with that later. Let's get back to Romano. We did get to level 25. I might have to start pushing this a little bit harder. But... Or we're just going to have plenty of episodes past the time of uh, the weekend. We'll just be releasing beta videos when it's not the beta anymore. <laughs> Which I guess is an option. But I am in fact taking my sweet time it feels like. But uh... I don't know, it's kind of fun to do the story. Okay, hmm. There's something different about you. Never mind. I think the awful stench from the extraction mill is getting to me. The Grand Chamberlain has assigned a new task to you. I'm not typical for... It's not typical for the Chamberlain to trust an outsider. Just don't let him down. 
Your next task will be to fight against some red orcs. Go to the southwestern gateway. Captain Xavier Vitello is expecting you. Okay, so now we got a Bastyr weapon, which is the Bastyr Axe. It's real close to being as good as the Aswell Axe that we have on now, which is kind of tragically terrible. The accuracy is a whole lot better, too, so I think I'll probably just use the Bastyr Axe. I know it's slightly worse, but that accuracy is really nice. So I'll probably just go ahead and do that. So now we need to go all the way down to the south here. We do have the speed, so I'm just going to go ahead and run down there. Uh, not cut it. We're not that far away with the extra boosted speed here for a couple of seconds. So we are moving at a decently slower pace than I thought it would be. But I feel like at this point we're kind of hemmed into doing it like this. I might try to skip out some dialogue that's a little bit more boring in some future episodes. Um, there was some of that that I might have been able to cut out, but it was all kind of important. Um, yeah, it was all kind of important, but it's all like, I don't know, it's all important if you want to care about the story, but then again, like, I can't even complete the story in the beta, so why do I even care? But I feel like we started, we should stick with what, with what we're doing. Okay, Xavier Vitello. Great. Uh, okay, I don't actually remember. My foe. Go meet the NPC indicated on the world map first and then come back. Ah, okay, so we gotta go talk to this dude. General Goods Vendor. Shop. Let's see. I'm gonna sell this stuff. I, I can sell that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell that on the market. Sell that and that. Uh, what is this? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so now let's go back to Vitello. The orcs are no easy meat. Are you worthy of your reputation? What? Lord Jordine personally recommended you? Impressive. Good to know that you're on our side. Lord Jordine has instructed us to wipe out those barbaric red orcs from all of Serendia, but unlike the Foggins and Nagas, the red orcs are much more violent and organized. It's difficult for us to carry out a full-scale attack because these red orcs are so persistent. The Grand Chamberlain may have recommended you, but you'll have to prove what you're made of before you can earn my any or you can earn my trust. You're having difficulties containing a bush spider epidemic near the gateway. Please help resolve the situation. Be able to take care of that. You'll be on your way to taking on the red orcs. I will defend this okay, so we have to kill spiders, which this is just an awful section of the game right here. It's them telling me to kill bush spiders and spiders. Hello? Can I hit you? Come up here. Where are the big spiders? The big bush spiders are like the hard parts because I don't know. They're like the hard. We'll just kill the bush spiders. Get that out of the way. And now we can run around and get the big ones. Oh no, the stupid small salamanders are showing up. I'm going to abandon that quest. Just get rid of it. I'm not going to complete it. Forfeit that quest. Okay, so we got to go over here, actually, I think, to complete this quest. This quest is... This quest is the thing of legends. It's the... It's the... Ult, it's the penultimate quest. Killing bush spiders. I'll probably kill these bush spiders and then call it an episode. And then in the next one, we can actually get to something more entertaining than killing big bush spiders. <laughs> Because the, the orcs are kind of fun fight, but I think that's a little bit of a longer thing. Um, and I if I start the orcs, I'd want to get to the boss, and I think that's a little bit into the future. But we got to fight those, we got to fight the Nagas in this episode. They're always a good time. Our weapons are a little bit trash can, but it kind of just goes with the territory of, you know... <gasps> The beta. I mean, we're not going to get elite level stuff in the beta. Because usually I'd buy uh, an ultimate side weapon because that would carry you through like this portion of the game. It would help you with this portion and then 
by the time you got to the other parts, because of your pets, you would have probably picked up enough black stones to upgrade your weapon to plus 10. But because I don't have that option, you know, we're just kind of chilling. We're chilling with our unupgraded gear. Try it. Just trying to make it through and progress. Okay, can I kill orcs for you now, buddy? You move swiftly, without hesitation or second guessing. Those skills of yours aren't bad. What's with the look of disappointment? The real battle hasn't even begun yet. Normally I wouldn't say this, but I'm tired of fighting an endless battle with these orcs. It even makes me wary of saying that sometimes words are the best weapon to resolve conflict. Come to think of it, we've managed to capture a few of the, those red orcs. Why don't you try talking to them? Uh, we've already tried, but can't seem to get through. Tell those orcs that we're willing to let them and their kin live only if they surrender. Do you know Cliff? Okay, let's talk to the orc captive. I'm just going to skip this dialogue because he doesn't respond really with real words. They sure are determined to continue fighting. Is there really no way we'll be able to find a peaceful resolution? Then there's no other way. We'll use every means available to destroy them. We must seize the initiative and strike first. The Lord and Jordine, the Grand Chamberlain, will not just sit idle and wait for results. We've got an orc specialist on the way. When it, becomes the, when it comes to Red Orcs, he knows more than anyone. Before you go to see him, though, I have one more request of you. One of our supply wagons has gone missing, so we sent scouts out on patrol to find out what happened to it. We have yet to hear back from them, and I fear the worst. Maybe they were attacked by the Orcs. Help them return safely. So, we need to go search for the scouts and fight our first Red Orcs, and so we will take care of that in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll check you guys in my next video. Peace!